When you come to these situations, when you pull up there, you always hope to see that little brown body pop up. It's crazy how social these animals are. Bison handle death and the morning of death like she's been doing everything she can to try to get this baby up. Give her the day and come back. I was really worried about the coyotes because the coyotes got uh, Eleanor. She wasn't able to defend them off, but here, Big Joe has been here for most of the day with her. Um, I'll pick up the calf later today and I will bury it. And I think that's the right thing to do, so. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. We're hanging out here at the Ponderosa. As you guys already know, we've had some late bloomers. We had some females that came in heat late last year. They got pregnant, most of them by Big Joe, some by Dunbar. So I gotta tell you a little story. Marissa and Brooks and I did a herd check yesterday. We rolled out a bell of hay because it's so dry. We're, yes, we're already rolling out hay. We came across something yesterday that was um, kind of sad. So um, I'm gonna pull down in the pasture and check on something and I'll show you guys uh, what we're talking about. Got the crew with me. Well, got part of the crew with me. It's actually kind of chilly this morning, 58 degrees. So as you can tell, we've had a uh, we've had a loss here. Um, so yesterday we came and did the herd check. We were right over here, uh, rolling out a bale of hay, and uh, we noticed that there was a cow over here uh, by herself. And there's one cow, one that we raised. Her number is 082. We noticed that she was getting close and uh, to possibly having a baby uh, because we've already had two late bloomers we saw a potential third well we thought it was her and then when we were rolling out the hay we saw her and we're like oh well who is this so pulled over here and it's one of our Canada cows 139 she is the first timer when you come to these situations when you pull up there in the truck or ATV you always hope to see that little brown body pop up and, and everything is great and mama's it looked like she was licking the licking the calf and everything was normal until you pull up. You never see anything get up. Part of it, here's mama right here. Bully, you better load up. I better load up. She's coming to check us out. So this is the 139 mama right here and Big Joe's following her around. This morning before I pulled down here, I could see down in the pasture, he was standing here next to her. Obviously giving her some sympathy. She's putting off some different smells and stuff. So he's been close to her. And I've seen him kind of handle these situations before 
where he comes up to these females and the baby and he checks on them and okay. stuff. Bison handle death and the morning of death like like it's it's crazy how social these animals are it's very spiritual it's very moving to watch them go through this they're a family they're uh they're a herd animal they're all up here because of me right now uh because i pulled up here you know they care about each other know when something's wrong in the herd and um all the little calves are coming over and checking it out smelling of it i mean it's a I, i've seen this before and how they handle death and it's pretty amazing they'll go by give it respect smell it and move on so big joe he's following her around it, she'll actually come in heat here in about a month or so even though she's lost a calf the question is is why when we pulled up here yesterday she was completely dried off Everything this is a little heifer calf. Clean, nothing blocking the mouth. I actually put my hands in her mouth, check her temperature to see how long she had been there. Her mouth was cool. Now, it was hot yesterday, got up in the 90s. But I wanted to see, I wanted to see how, um, if she had been there a while. And she had been there just a, probably a little while, but considering she was cleaned off. She was very dry, so it, more than likely she had it, um, yesterday morning early morning or overnight but she's a big old calf healthy calf and i just you don't know you're not there it's amazing to really think about these animals never have to have any help at calving unlike cattle sometimes she's gonna come and check on her I'm just trying to keep my distance here. You don't have to pull uh, bison calves, all right? They've been doing this for thousands of years. They've been doing this for hundreds of years on their own. And that's how we treat bison. We treat bison like bison. Occasionally, you'll have a bottle baby. You know, something will happen. A mom will have twins, which is rare. They can have twins. And uh, oh, the new bull's gonna go over there. There's our new bull. You can have twins and uh, look at Big Joe. He just ran the young bull off. Sometimes, uh, you know, if they have twins, the mom kicks one calf off and the, and keeps the other. So uh, you can have bottle babies. But other than that, uh, we've had our challenges of trying to rescue calves. We've done that once. Um, first time mama last summer uh, lost, uh, was losing a calf and it was struggling. We tried to bring it up to the barn and it didn't make it. So we've tried. It's a miracle that they have these babies completely fine and they grow up and there's no issues and then this is our second loss of the year if you guys don't remember back in may um eleanor lost her calf a little heifer calf you know things happen nobody knows his complication at birth more than likely uh she was a big calf to me these calves typically weigh 30 to 50 pounds can range somewhere in there and uh it just it's sad and it's a loss and there's nothing you can do and uh these animals you can't just come out here and try to save them uh, because that mama goes into protection mode and she does everything she can to protect that baby dead or alive and so you can't mess with these animals and it, it, it's dangerous they're dangerous animals and I know this, these sort of situations happen in the wild, other herds, it's raising livestock, right? It doesn't matter if it's sheep, goats, cattle, horses. When you raise livestock, things are going to happen. Do we know why? No, absolutely not. But things like this happen and it just flat out stinks. That's, there's nothing, nothing else to say about it. It just, as a farmer, as a rancher, producer, it just, it just uh, stinks came back to check her yesterday evening and she was still here i always let the mothers mourn with their baby for a day for 24 hours or so so i came back to check on her this morning and i noticed big joe was down here kind of hanging out with her making sure she's okay and giving her some love which is very sweet of big joe i'm going to uh give her the day and come back i was really worried about 
the coyotes because the coyotes got uh, Eleanor. She wasn't able to defend them off. But here, I know that she wasn't. She's a little bit more aggressive than Eleanor. So her baby's here today, which is good because I'm going to not let those coyotes take this calf. They're not going to get anything for free from me. I'll tell you that. And they're dang sure not getting a red dog. So um, I'll pick up the calf later today and I will bury it. And I think that's the right thing to do. So what do you guys think? Well, you're just watching Big Joe. Worried about him. <laughs> <I'll> Drop <try> bullet. <laughs> the biggest scary guy here hanging out with you. What's your old bullet? Hey, man. I wouldn't get down. That mama's gonna come undone. Come on, Maya, load up. Load up. All right. Well, I was doing a little work and came back down here to check our girl, Mama. And she's literally been here all day long. What a mom. She's been doing everything she can to try to get this baby up. It's sad. I give her a lot of credit. She has not given up. She's tried and tried. I've watched her bump the baby. But what's interesting is Big Joe has been here for most of the day with her. And now the and now the young bull is over here with her. He's been hanging out near her too as well. Um, so, and the rest of the herd, as you can see, is over there grazing. So I'm, it's kind of interesting behavior from them. I think it's pretty neat that the bulls are over here kind of protecting them and stuff. But she's just, she's been here all day. So it is a, it's going to be a major challenge trying to take that calf away from her. And I, I hate to do that, but, um, you know, after, after, two days of this or a day of this at least with the heat and stuff it'll start putting out some you know it'll start putting out some smells and the coyotes will start showing up and they'll show up here around the barn and everything and we don't want them up here we know that they exist here and that they come through here but we definitely are not going to let them come take a red dog and i know that mama right there i guarantee you she will not let one of them buy her shoot I guarantee that mama right there will not let a coyote take that baby. I promise you. This mama's been here for her, for two days straight. So I need to get the baby from her and take care of it and bury it. So anyways, uh, yeah. wish me luck on, uh, wish me luck on getting that baby from her. I may have to get some help, but it ain't going to be fun. I know I'm not going to like doing it for sure. But at least the bulls are over here protecting them. Young bull is, so. All right, so. So I was out here doing a little work, and I was giving Eleanor some cubes. And uh, the Canada cow finally came over here. I got her sidetracked. I'm going to give him some more cubes. And uh, calf is right over there. It's the first time I've really seen her away from the calf. So this is probably my opportunity to go get the calf so I got the calf that just sucks guys Plus it'll start smelling pretty bad. It already is a little bit. It's hot outside. There's Eleanor. Uh, so here's a tough task. I got the calf. Um, I just gave mama here some cubes. Hopefully a distractor. 
Maybe she'll come over here and eat some of them, but she's got all these scents that she's smelling her baby. Come on, come eat some of these cubes, honey. making some funny sounds I have never heard before. I'm gonna ease out of here real quick. Marissa brought me back to my truck. I've been planting a cover crop. More to come on cover cropping. So I've been in this situation uh, two summers ago. Bill Starr lost their cap out of the blue. That summer was a rough summer. We had never lost any red dogs ever before. But as you grow, you know, the herd and stuff, um, your chances of uh, loss goes up, obviously. Well, that summer, we lost three red dogs. Same sort of situations, have no clue what happened. The next year, you know, we watched these mamas that had issues not have any issues. And so you just don't know. And then Eleanor loses hers in, in this May, calving 2024. Eleanor's never lost one. So it's just random stuff that can happen. There's no reasons why. You're not there to watch them all the time. Yes, we have caught some live births, which is very rare to catch them. But you can't save them and you can't save them all. Um, and it's definitely hard on the heart to watch those mamas go through that. I left her there for two days, which is normally what I don't do. Um, but after a day, they kind of start going away from them, but they didn't. Come on, Jackie. She didn't this time. She stayed there by her side the whole time. I figured she would chase me one year when Bell Star lost her baby and I gave her a day to mourn. Uh, Put the calf in the ATV and she chased me out of there and it was not pretty it's hard to watch that and I know this is nature anytime you own livestock this is gonna happen so I say you live and learn but I don't know what we could have done it just sucks that you lose a red dog big old pretty beautiful heifer red dog and so I had to at least get it out of the pasture. She's not moving and grazing, and I don't know. You know, she's close to water at least, so she needs to start taking care of herself. She's in the recovery process now. So uh, we've got to take this baby and bury it somewhere on the Ponderosa. Not a lot of wildflowers right now. No, it's not where I walk. It's pretty dry. Okay. Crispy. Come on, boy. Come back, buddy. Come on. Well, Marissa and I got some flowers for a little red dog. Um, I usually bury them up by the barn. There's a couple of places where I buried a couple uh, before that we've lost. And um, my skid stern's not up there in the ground. It's super hard, so I didn't hand dig it. I've done, hand dug them before, but I brought it back here. I always bury them underneath the pecan tree, and um, that's where we buried this one. So we're back here on the 80-acre burn unit. I've been doing some pond cleanup and some brush control or brush removal and so I had the skid steer so I went ahead and used the bucket to make sure I was getting it deep so the predators can't get to it so we'll keep an eye on the 139 Canada cow none of this is easy and uh, we know that things happen in ranching and farming so anyways thank you guys for watching this we'll keep on boss ranching